welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name's Eben, and today we're working on this 2004 Dodge Viper. Before we do the rear differential gear oil, and we do the manual trans fluid, we're gonna go out on the road and we're gonna do a fourth gear roll down uh, from 20 miles an hour to 50 in fourth gear. And we're gonna feel the vibration of the drivetrain and feel the before and after. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna do a fourth gear roll down from 20 to 50. All right, roll it down. All right, that's good, perfect. We're gonna kick it off here with the transmission. This is a T56, same transmission that's in my C5 Corvette. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the uh, fill plug so air can flow through the trans. So we're taking that off now. And uh, what we're gonna do, set that down. Oh, trans fluid came out of it. So trans fluid just came out of the fill. So that was an un un unexpected surprise. Now we're gonna go ahead and crack loose, once this drains down, we're gonna crack loose the, uh, the, the uh, drain plug. All right, on the count of three, a one. A little piece of paper towel, it's a little hot still. A little hot. On the count of three, a one, a two, and a three. There she is. So you can see there's some uh, metallic in it. All right, we got the transmission draining down and uh, we got it tilted a little bit to the drain hole side so it should drain down much better. And we're actually headed out to the, uh, the parts store. We're gonna grab an Allen key. And the rear diff takes an Allen key uh, that's not a nine millimeter, that's too small, and a 10 millimeter Allen key is too big. So we gotta go get an American uh, Allen key, but quick to go over the engine, 505 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque, 8.3 liter V10. And uh, it's all about torque. It comes with a uh, factory cold air intake. That's all original equipment and uh, we'll be back out after the fluid's in to do a little test drive. We're putting in our GL5, uh, GL4 spec 75W90 transaxle manual trans and uh, uh, transaxle gear lube. So this is good for differentials and transmissions. And it has the modifier already added to smooth the shift. We got our pump in and we have uh, the car tilted so the, the fill hole is up. So basically, this transmission takes four quarts. We drained out all the fluid by tilting it on the drain side. Now we have it tilted the same way, so the fill side's on the other side. So uh, we put the full four quarts in, drop her down, and then we'll do the rear diff. Let's start pumping. So we... And you can see that going down. We'll see it going in. All right, four quarts going in. We'll be back. So we dumped out all the uh, uh, gear oil on the manual trans and there's no chips. Take a look, absolutely no chips, but there is a little bit of powder in there. And uh, I think it's gonna shift a lot better with that powder out of there. Uh, basically, if you sent the oil out for analysts, I would assume it would come back with a pretty good metallic count um, of very fine particles. So those are all gonna be out of that manual trans and it should shift a whole lot better. All right, to be continued. All right, it's that time to put on our badge of honor. We've done our uh, 75 W90 trans axle manual transmission gear lube. And what that is, is it has friction modifiers. So when you shift your transmission, it shifts smooth. And also it's got the modifiers in it for differentials. We did our rear diff with 75 140. It's a very thick honey like gear oil and it's a high pressure lubricant for extreme track driving which this car is made for and uh, well all we do is put on our badge of honor let's do it American on American the American Viper 
with American made 100% synthetic lubrication. All right. That's it. Bulletproof protection. We're at 30. All right, we're at 30. Roll it down, good. Ready? Yep. Sounds good. But less vibration it feels like, definitely. Yes. Alright, we'll head back. Awesome. Alright, thanks guys for tuning in today. We'll be back next time for some more exotic cars. If you guys love this stuff, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see ya.